Hello, my beautiful people. It is Sherry Moulton back with another video. Hope you're having an amazing Friday. I hope you enjoyed Wednesday's um, video, the uh, Dutch Pour Flower Take Two. It actually turned out not too bad. I'm thinking you can really see that shimmery of those colors in there. I'm thinking that we will do some embellishment on this one. Probably the same as I did the black flowers that I painted. So I think we might do that. Put some seed beads in here and do, so that might be another video. So with that, I want to get into, um, first of all, I want to thank Donna for her PayPal donation. Thank you very, very much. Very appreciated. And no doubt it will go to some form of glitter. So with that, um, today we're gonna do a, another resin bloom, but I'm gonna do a bigger one, and I'm gonna try to make a bowl. Um, I've curved my flower ones to make flowers on my three-dimensional boards, but I don't know if I've made a bowl. So I'm gonna get my stuff together. I'm gonna mix up my resin, which is resin of choice as always is crystal resin um, when I am mixing my resin I am using my respirator mask I do have gloves on and when I come back I will not have the respirator on so I can talk to you guys so yes please wear your PPE when always working with a resin and with that I'm gonna get my resin out of the kitchen sink and I'll be right back I'll see you guys in a second we are back I am all mixed up so I just wanted to point out I wasn't sure if I mentioned um, when I put my um, resin in my warm bath up in my kitchen sink it does take away from the time that you have for working um, normally it's about 35 minutes with this crystal resin and sometimes depending on especially for this I normally don't time anything because it takes away upstairs. So with that being said, we're gonna get into it. So I have this mold. Actually, I don't even know how big it is. Let me just get my, my uh, trusty dusty. It is a seven and a half inch round. I did measure it with water. It took probably eight ounces, but I'm not going to put the full eight in it. I'm going to keep, uh, we'll say about a half an ounce, an ounce for my piping with my Let's Resin. Sorry, my brain is totally, totally gone today. My apologies. Um, Lorez, this one's Angel White, which we'll be using for the other stuff, I'm going to put a clear with some um, of my mirror mirror around the edging because I found I like that. And then I'm going to pour the rest. Actually, I'm going to do this first. Let me get my, I just put resin all over my gloves. Let me just get my glove wiped off. Uh, and of course, I can't get a hold of my things. Oh my goodness. There we go. There we go. Get my hands. I want to put some of the resin. I want to put some of my mirror mirror into my resin. And I want enough just to go around the edge. I can open up this package. I wanted a blue, but I thought, oh, that mirror mirror might work out just nice. One big heaping scoop because my amazing friend Laura gave me quite a bit in that uh, container. I'm just going to give it a stir. Aha. I think that'll be pretty. Maybe. Yeah, I think that'll be pretty because I don't want it to be. I want it, I want you to be able to see through it. Here we go. We're just going to pour around the edging. Ha 
helps if I had stuff out of my way. And then I'd really like some in the middle, but I always find that it floats away on me. Okay, so here we go. We're going to pour my clear in here. And it'll push that back. I'm hoping. Yeah, so that's good. I like it that um, that it's thin. It's got a nice, um, it's like a, oh my goodness, it's mixed glitters. My goodness, I tell you guys, my brain today doesn't want to function with what I want to say. <laughs> um, yes, I like that glitter because it's a different textures. It's fine glitter and it's, you know what, I'm going to be, I've got a little bit in here still. I'm going to put more glitter in it. I want to make it like a paste. And we'll see if I can put that in the center. Let's give this a stir. And that's it. I don't want a lot. And I will use one of my, these are amazing. I'm going to have to order another set. Try and bring that in there. And try to eyeball it in the center. And I've got, Hairy thing there. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to give this a little bit of a torch with my little wee wee torch, which I got right here, because you don't want to um, ruin your mold. So go quick, quick, quick. Oh my goodness, it's staying. Oh my goodness. I always have issues with um, the glitter spreading like crazy in the center. I'm gonna get that out of there because there is another one and then there's another one. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm gonna mix up, this is Angel White from Let's La Res. I'm going to get just a stir. I always like to stir it and give it a scrape and then put what's left is in there is in there. Give that a stir. It's hard to tell whether it's opaque or not because I'm stirring it with the end that I put in to the paste. And there's, see how much paste is on there still, so it's kind of hard to tell. So we're gonna leave it at that. So I'm going to put, do some, um, I'm gonna bring that up in there, so there we go. I'm going to lay, cheaper Sherry, I'm going to lay down some um, alcohol ink. I'm going to use blues and some silver. So I thought I would use that metallic. So I'm going to put silver down. Oh, maybe I'll, maybe I'll do this. I'll put the, um, those three metallics that I bought, this one is from, um, oh my goodness, oh, Ranger, 
and it is um, tranquil. It's like a blue green. So I'll put that down first. That was more than I wanted and it went in the wrong spot. So that is what it is. Then I'm going to do silver. And these other ones are pinata. And I'm not too worried because I found the um, the metallics weren't that um, vibrant. So that's good. And then the last one I'm using is the uh, pinata again. And it is Baja Baja Blue. I'm going to try and say it right. I'm going to take this and I'm going to give it a, a spinneroo. And I don't want to do a spinneroo with the glitter quite yet. So I'm going to get a piece of paper towel. And we're going to lay down some white. And I'm going to flip this around this way. It looks like it's kind of... Here, I'm going to do this. I know you shouldn't be doing this, but I'm just going to tilt this up a little. Yep. I'm going to stick something underneath my board. Because I don't want it to... No, oh, maybe not. Let's just see if it stopped. I don't want it to shift anymore that way. So once I'm done, I will um, put it back down so it will be level. I'm going to check this out. Julie, see? Julie from Julie, pour your heart out. You've got me going here with my heater it is 41 so it's good to go Julie here we go and I'm just gonna start laying down I feel like I'm one of those race car driver pit stop guys to see how fast I can change the battery oh my goodness all right here we go we got two in and then my battery died here we go guys we're just gonna put it in and I'm gonna set this up here if I can and I'm only doing one so I'm not going crazy crazy fast but I want to place it down you can instead of using this silicone tool you can do this in a piping bag you could even do this probably in a syringe if you so desired i don't know if the those little paquettes or whatever they're called i don't think they would do well with this because you wouldn't have as much control i think but i could be totally wrong So I've heard back from everybody with the giveaway. I'm going to start to mail out some stuff. And as I do that, I will email you back and let you know what's going on. I'm just excited and it's kind of crazy because now it's at 
83,000. 83,000. Crazy. When I did the giveaway, it was at 82. So I gained it. That's, I can't believe. Craziness. I just hope this turns out. I need to flip this now. Because I want to make sure it's... There. And it's kind of hard to tell where you left off. You want to make sure you get... I'm going to do another one here because it looks... I'm going to do something in here just because it looks empty there. And you want to make sure, if you see blobs, smooth it out. Let's just do a couple little ones. Like smooth that down. There we go. And I'm going to try to Oh, I can see it working. It's hard to see it in the center. Yeah, I think that's good. And if you see any other lines you might want to make, you can... Then I'm just going to do a little swirly in the center. I don't want to touch my glitter. And there we go, my friends. I'm going to leave it at that. I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to do another little wee torch. Love the colors. Just with you introducing all of that in there, you tend to put bubbles as well. it's working I'm excited okay so I'm gonna let that be I'm gonna come back ah uh, we're gonna say probably about maybe five hours and see if I can pull it out and shape it in a bowl now I have all these bowls I got this one and I'm thinking that's the one I'm gonna use um, these ones I think are too, too small. I don't want any ripples in it. So we're gonna play around. So I'm gonna let that do its thing. So probably later on tonight, I'll come back down and we will pop it out and put it in. And if I can find, I think I have a silver marker that we can do the edging with. 
All right, guys. Actually, you know what? Just because I'm going to put a little bit of this here. Oh, it's going to... Maybe it won't sink. And we'll see. So there'll be a little glitter in the middle on the back. Okay, I'll see you guys in a few hours. Bye-bye. Hello, we are back. This is... It is cured enough that it's not sticky, but it is bendy. So, I want to put it in this glass bowl. So let's pull it out. Because I want the pretty flower side, hopefully it turned out, to be on the inside of the bowl. Here we go, let's take a peek. Oh my goodness. Look at the depth in that. What is crazy? Okay, now I'm thinking I'm just pressing lightly. Just in the center. Look at that, guys. I'm excited. And this should just pop out. It might take a little maneuvering, but this actually should just pop out. Oh my goodness, look at that. I'm excited. All right, so we're going to let this do its thing. And I'll see you in a bit. I made earrings. I put a little bit of um, of the alcohol in the pearl one to make some more barrettes, but they're still those are still not ready. So awesome, guys! All right, I'll see you in a few hours when this is ready. I'll see you in a bit, guys. Just look at how pretty it is. I'm excited. Bye. Hello, we are back. I was so upset. I thought this was going to not come out. I took my X-Acto knife and just popped a little corner. Oh my goodness. There's green. Oh, I'm, <laughs> I'm going there's green in there, but I was seeing green from over there. Something else. I am impressed. <gasps> I love how that turned out. Is that not gorgeous? Very pretty. I love it. My first sort of bowl. Well, there you go, my beautiful people. I love the depth of this. This is amazing. So there you go. With that, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you have not yet subscribed, please think about subscribing. And if you like the video, please hit that thumbs up. Hit that bell in the corner for notifications. So when I put up my next video, you will be notified. And, excuse me, and with that, everything in the description box I, that I used today will be in the description box. Um, I also have the <clears throat> links to my Amazon shops, which I'm an affiliate with. I also have the links to where to purchase Fundy Molds. I also have the links to where to purchase TriArt Liquid Glass. Also, there is a link to where to purchase Crystal Resin, which is what we used here today. Also have the links to Let's Resin with a discount code of Sherry M capital S capital M 10. And with that, I have the two amazing Lorez distributors. I have Michelle from Artworks Resin Canada. And my discount code for Michelle is Sherry Molten 10 capital S capital M. And the amazing Laura <clears throat> from Laura's Art Corner, my glitter guru, which is the glitters I use today. 
And also my American Larez distributor and my discount code for Laura is all capital letters, Sherry Moulton 10. And with that, I have my PayPal link in there. And if you choose to donate, and with that, I'm out of here, my friends. I will see you in the next one. Love you guys. Bye.